Hi, morning everybody. This is Jules Designs from JT Creations. Now I have already shown my Bumblebee or Bees um, pack, digital pack, on YouTube. So this is just the pages that I'm going to be using in the journal. So I don't know whether this is going to be the front page, but it's certainly the front page of this signature. And I think I'm just having one signature. So as you can see, it, it's a little white, but it has got a print, um, like a coffee design on. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit. I'm not at home at the moment. I'm at my daughter-in-law's um, uh, puppy sitting. So if you hear any squeaks, um, the dog has just had her puppy. She's got seven of them. So this page is lined. And now these bees are from my own sketches. Um, again, this one is more lined and it's tea stained. This one's got the, the honeycombs and there's some sort of like writing. I um, don't know whether you can see it. You can see it just gently. Um, it's just facts about bees. Again, another coffee dyed, light coffee dyed paper. This was done digitally but it's been like coffee dyed and you can see there's the lines slight lines I don't know whether you can see in this light the, the, I apologize for the lighting because I'm not at home I haven't got everything set up properly so it's just a makeshift thing but it's the lines from this side uh, faintly showing through on that side so that's good for writing um, the queen bee the sunflowers again bees down the side another page for writing in page for writing in this just um, it's a print of, of natural paper that I took a photograph of um, bees in a honeycomb again some coffee dyed digital paper lined um, this is again it's just facts about bees um, I just quite liked it. I'd seen something on Pinterest with flowers and I thought it would be nice um, with the bees. And it's got some flowers on the inside. Again, another page. So the, the more or less all the same. There's a, a, a kind of like this dark colour um, and I think it looks nice. It's easy to write on. You can decorate all these pages. Again, another one with the honeycombs and the, the bees. Again, these are sketches that I've done and then just printed off. Now, in the middle, I found a, a die. Um, I think they're Elizabeth something dies, and it's just for a, a file folder. I've already put the pocket on, and that's going in the middle. The envelope here was a freebie from Artie Mays. I think it's on her Facebook, so I just took it. Um, so if you want this envelope, if you go and find, um, go and check out Artie Mays, I will put her um, link below. Um, I did the bees, these again are sketches from mine. I printed them off on acetate and put them in. Now this will go in the middle then it will be closed off so that you can't see well you, you might see some stitching but it will be closed off. Again there's some ephemerates photograph um, frames. Again more pages and this is just the other half of the book. Now some of these pages have like a, a mica powder on. <laughs> um, this is a coffee dyed paper. When I was doing the coffee dyed paper I had um, other papers that had been printed by an inkjet um, with stamps and stuff on so obviously that seeped through. Um, the ink from an inkjet printer is um, it just it does dilute with water. Okay. 
but it looks I quite like it. it looks quite quirky again light coffee dyed paper another paper with sunflower again some lined papers coffee dyed papers and that's a photograph of a handmade paper not quite sure I think that was um, there was something stuck on there but looks quite quirky and again all these um, digital coffee dyed papers that use bubble wrap and cardboard things like that uh, I might do a, a tutorial later on of using cardboard and bubble wrap. Again, this is another coffee dyed print that came through um, from papers that I was coffee dyeing that had already been printed by an inkjet. And again, it, it, it looks quite nice and I did have a go at spraying some inks and things on them. And again, this is the the end so there's four six eight ten twelve thirteen sheets so that's 26 pages and now the the actual um, kit itself I've actually cut out some of these so I will show you some of them so these are all the bits and pieces that I've got to to work on and there's words like be you know beautiful I've used dyes um, to to cut them out be kind you are the bee's knees and it's just things that I've found on on the internet you know quoting quoting positive be quotes be thankful um, another die is details dates I've got some numbers here from Artie Mays because I, I think they look quite nice. Um, and I think we all like numbers, some circles. Again, this was die cuts, um, dates, special things. And these were all cut out from the, the B papers. And also, the, this journal is for a, a young girl that's a little bit anxious and I suffer with anxiety and one of the things I learned that sometimes when somebody gives you a negative comment um, not not on journaling but just you know or, or you think of something that's bothering you when you suffer with anxiety it just bothers you a little bit more and one of the things I learned was to write it down put it in an envelope and forget about it you have it works for me. It, I'm not saying it works for everybody, you know, but if somebody's a little bit negative towards you or, you know, even unknowingly says something that kind of upsets you. So it was a good thing for me. So the, the girl that I'm making this for, some of the envelopes with like, be positive, you are the bee's knees. And these are going to be envelopes for her to put anything that's bothering her, you know, write it down, put it in. And then at, at the end of the day, week, month or whatever, you just empty it, you bin it, it's packed, you know. And it, it, it is something that you have to train yourself to do. Um, so these are tabs. Some are die cuts. Um, I tried to do make a fishtail um, on my my program that was about as good as I could get well I did improve um, that was about as much as I could get near a fishtail because I haven't got a fishtail um, punch but I thought that was quite good so and again it'll go through the journal it's a nice nice fit so there are these are from the kit I've cut them all out and um, there's lots lots of things and obviously with a digital kit um, you can print it off as many times as you want there's also tags as you can see I've got my bits and pieces in here that was a, a, a die from um, Tonic Studios an envelope that I've started making 
So I will do some tutorials while I'm working on these um, to match that. So I've set up all the envelopes, a coin pocket. Um, I was inspired by Artie Mays to do some specimen cards, but I did my own shapes. Um, so I did the hexagons, or it's not hexagon. Um, you can write, you can leave me a comment to what shape it is, but it looks more like the the B. Again, that was just a a card. Um, I think it was a paint sample, and I thought oh, that would be cute with a little B in. Again, but there are some of these in the kit. There's some envelopes. About that. I will need to um, wait till I get up the road and post the put the bee kit on my Etsy shop but I will put my Etsy shop link below the video sorry about that because I'm not set up properly the video jumped okay so bye speak to you later thank you